realms of revelation. John chapter 5 verses 19 and 20. Then Jesus answered and said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself but what he sees the Father do. For whatever he does, the Son also does in like manner. For the Father loves the Son and shows him all things that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these that you may marvel. Daniel 2.22 He reveals deep and secret things. He knows what is in the darkness and light dwells with him. This week, we're going to focus on the prophetic realms and just talk about different aspects of the realms of the prophetic. When we talk about the prophetic, or when the Bible presents the prophetic to us, uh, we are, uh, this is referring to God unveiling things to us, or God doing things uh, uh, that come through a revelation. That is, God speaks to us, He reveals something to us, and then He does what He has revealed to us. So when we talk about the prophetic, we are talking about hearing and seeing what God is revealing or showing to us. And then we work in cooperation with God to see the works of God released on the earth. In the passage of scripture that we read from John 5, Jesus uh, very uh, beautifully summarizes to us, uh, uh, captures for us what this uh, all entails. He says that he would do nothing unless what he, uh, except what he sees the Father do. And he says, the Father loves him and therefore reveals things to him. And he says, the Father will reveal him or show him even greater things that he would then go and do. So that really captures for us the prophetic. That is, you and I are hearing and seeing from God, uh, which he, whatever he reveals to us. And then we act in cooperation with them. We follow through with what he shows us and then we see the works of God released on the earth. Now, a very important thing that we want to highlight here is that it is based on our love relationship with the Father, just as Jesus. You know, Jesus said this later on in John 17. He says, the Father loves us just as much or in the same way the Father loves the Son. So the Father loves Jesus and therefore reveals things to him. Similarly, the Father loves us as his own children and he reveals things to us. And so based on our love relationship with the Father, the realm of the prophetic is open to us. That is, we can expect the Father to, to reveal, to show us and to speak to us. And then as we tune in to our Heavenly Father who speaks to us by his Holy Spirit, uh, uh, we can see uh, we can hear the things he reveals to us and then we do likewise just like Jesus said the son does only what he sees the father do or the son does only what he hears or the son speaks only what he hears the father speak we too begin to uh, say and do what we hear uh, what we see and hear the father speak to us and so that becomes the prophetic. It's, it's, uh, it's a realm of revelation. The prophetic realm is a realm of revelation where God reveals to us what he, is, what he wants us to hear and what he wants us to do. And then we follow through with him. Daniel said it like this. Daniel said that God reveals deep and secret things because he knows what is in the darkness and light dwells with him. So if God chooses to, he can just reveal things to us which are totally unknown to us. That he reveals that and then we begin to follow through. We speak, we do in line with what God is revealing to us. And that is the realm of revelation. That is one aspect of the prophetic. Walking in line with what God is here saying and what God is revealing to us. The realm of revelation. I want to encourage you. You pray and ask the Father to reveal things to you. He will do it because he loves you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you're the God who reveals deep and secret things so that we can see, we can hear from you. Help us open our eyes, open our ears 
We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.